Uh, yeah, about them Boy Scouts, I think you're you're a hundred percent correct in that. Um, uh, they were without their scoutmaster, and and uh, had you not fed them something, I'm sure they would have been feeding on your leg. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they would have been trying. Yeah. But we know when it when it was just you know provisions and our lives weren't on the lines, we did pretty well. We were well supplied the whole time. Oh yeah. Yeah, you, you did really get, well, especially once you got to Thomas Edison. Uh, anyway, after the battle, you got to Thomas Edison State University, which is, as it turns out, uh, both the home of Thomas Edison and a core earth hard point. What do you remember there about the university, the keys, and the boats? <laughs> okay. Okay, I, I kind of wanted to roll back on something that sure. I kind of forgot about until we just mentioned supplies and we had plenty of food. Oh, yeah. Was that when we were back at the uh, uh, mall, I had secretly, you know, was you know, messaging, you know, Paul that I you know, secretly hid you know, like a couple of days worth of rations. Uh huh. Myself, so I could just, stab, you know, slaughter off if the need arise. <laughs> so I was prepared to book it. Yeah, um, that you know, sounds about right. You, yeah, look at to where though. You know, you you can you computer <laughs> geeks context. have to have your 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 Twinkies. I'm telling you. Please, <laughs> <laughs> Mountain Dew and Doritos. Come on, Doritos. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mountain Dew and Doritos, or Dr Pepper and Doritos. Yeah, there you go. So okay, so I guess the fight was supposed to be outside of of Trenton which is where Thomas Edison State University is, but you would have had the fight before that. In fact, I think I broke it down right here. So what happened was, and, and I know I'm revisiting this because this is way back in March, so I'm I'm surprised I remember it at all. But I think you're right, Ginger. Uh, you picked up the Boy Scout, the Feral Boy Scouts, here at Lawrence, and then almost immediately after that, you had to, you had to take a fight. It was... Uh, this whole area, Lawrence and and all of this uh, area around here, 295, 95, 226, et cetera, all of that is considered Trenton. Um, Lawrence is like a um, a subdivision or something, uh, I think. So, yeah. Okay, so you, you got to Thomas Edison State University. What? And the lights are on. That's the first thing we re realized. And that's right. Um, I was moving straight to some dorm rooms for a shower and to raid the beer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think there were one or two things that happened before you actually got to that part, um, like realizing you were in a hard point. <laughs> yeah, uh, we totally did. And uh, uh, I found Cora creepy. If I'm not mistaken, <laughs> did. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, you guys uh, live like this. You guys <laughs> live like this. So, oh my well, god! <laughs> so Ginger, what yeah. was that? Well, if I'm not mistaken, I found the home of Thomas Edison, and I brought mm -hmm. Christopher Cross over, being the engineer, to 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 test the theory that it was an, a hard point, mm -hmm. or or ask it if if it this was the center of this area. Uh, because of one, what the what the information of the UCAM had had told us about hard points, mm -hmm. and I was wondering if this was a core Earth one, but it required uh, a higher elevation of math than what I was able to do. Oh yeah, yeah, you had so, me come in, and I was like, I rolled like forty seven or something like mm -hmm. that. And I was like, I perfectly understood. Oh yeah, this is like this is the center is steadily closing and whatnot. The question the, is. You know, the question is, did Chris keep from geeking out being in that kind of a technology center? Where, no, he, where... he geeked out. He also raided the chem lab, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, tried yeah. to, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you uh, did. And... You did. You succeeded. What, yeah, I, what I... was going on with that? Uh, so originally, I went to the chem lab to try to get some acid, you know, some type of acid, like highly corrosive stuff. Mm-hmm. Because uh, I knew that some types of acids are actually surprisingly simple to make. Mm -hmm. But like, Paul kind of discouraged me from that idea because of how easy they would break. <laughs> oh, the beakers? 
Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, anything you could carry, anything you could carry that in was likely to break down on you really fast. Mm-hmm. Because so, it was the land axioms, if not weakness of materials. So in the end, I just and still ended up rating it for just like painkillers and whatnot. Mm-hmm. For drugs, he was going after <laughs> drugs. Yeah, since it couldn't get like highly lethal acid, I just went for drugs. <laughs> Drugs. <laughs> um, it's, amazing. it's amazing how his priorities shift. <laughs> <laughs> now the well, problem. He doesn't long out of college what? himself. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. He doesn't long out of college himself. He remembered. He knew, he knew where they likely kept their own stash. <laughs> <laughs> now the problem was you couldn't get into the college yet. Uh, we couldn't get into the. Uh... No, couldn't, couldn't get into a lot of the buildings because the right. We had to find, I found the security booth. I had to break in. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I got the, the I, I found the security shack. I, I went to find uh, the security shack deliberately so to see if I could get the keys. Yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> I successfully bro- broke in, but it took. Just as Chris found the key. <laughs> I forgot about uh, that till just now. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Ginger. I just had to pull a fast one on you. <laughs> Probably sitting there going, jerk. Chris found a whole bunch of stuff unlocked, huh? Uh, no, no he well. Car. That, he did find the keys to a working car here, didn't mm-hmm. he? Yep. Yeah. Uh, keys to I quite a few things. Yeah, I found like all the keys and whatnot. I was like, it was my jam at that uh, currently. And I got a, some radios and uh, a shotgun from the from guard post, which I like got the keys for as well. <laughs> but that was like a slightly bit too late. Just a little bit. But yeah, uh, bit. so, okay. I, I, just, I just remember I found it creepy and I stayed outside for the most part because I didn't want to. I just did not want to be in the, in in that core earth nook. If I remember, so they, you found um, uh, you found the boats out back, mm-hmm. but it, it was it was too dark to do anything with them at the time because once you all found the keys, you got into the various dorms, and everybody all uh, what was it thirty three of the thirty nine. 42 people that you had with you um, were were just like in the very same boat you were. They needed showers. They needed food. They needed all kinds of stuff. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we, we found working vending machines that we pretty much broke into instead of paid mm-hmm. for. We found, uh, uh, yeah, we drank the beer. We had the hot showers. We 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 raided the the school for sweatshirts and stuff. We got Seslica. At Thomas Edison University, State University teachers. That's right. Oh, oh, oh Sakal, we gave like how much Sakal yeah. would love that. <laughs> Sakal yeah, got his his a uh, Edison University like your hoodie. Yeah, that's right because he was collecting um, uh, core Earth style stuff. Mm-hmm. I remember that he, now. He pretty much had his pick of the collection. Mm-hmm. That's the truth. Um, Okay, but you ended there on day five, um, mm-hmm. and then you decided to continue on uh, through day six because the, uh, the 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 reality bubble was shrinking pretty fast. Mm-hmm. So uh, they, they we everybody stayed in the dorms that night except me, mm-hmm. and um, uh, and uh, the next morning. Yeah, you know, I mean, even more of the hard point was just was just being eroded eaten away. Yeah, yeah we spent that. We spent you know end of day six because well end of day five and then end of day six for both there it was like I'm pretty sure we spent like a whole day resting and preparing everything because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. yeah, we found the boats and like then we planned out our route to go down the river. Mm-hmm. And then got uh, gathered all the supplies we would need to make sure we get yeah. all the way down the river. Yeah, we had what one, one cabin cruiser style boat. Yeah, they're they're listed over here. Like, they're actually listed over here. 
a couple of skulls, uh, you know, not, not skulls as in, you know, like head bones, <laughs> but uh, the, rowing, uh, the, the, the rowing boat, mm-hmm. the, 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 long the, boats. the rowing boat from the uh, college that we could string together and laden down with some of our stuff mm-hmm. and some more people. And, and, and I used my, uh, I, I used my miracle to shape plants because like, uh, um, so call was giving me grief about it. And not only did I roll, but I rolled well, and I wound up being able to make two instead of just one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that was actually <laughs> a really good roll. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, first really successful role we had, uh, we, we, we had for the entire thing uh, yeah. as players. <laughs> Was loading up those boats and getting all the boats into a successful flotilla. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Unfortunately, unfortunately, that didn't throw off our uh, the, the pack of pursuers. That's they right. Had avoided, they had avoided us on the... Um, they had avoided us at the hard point. I guess they didn't like it either. Mm-hmm. But they they went around. Yeah, and uh-huh. but they were they were still waiting. And they when we struck out again, one of them found us and started calling the others. Mm-hmm. And we're trying to go. And uh, who was it? somebody made a really good long range shot that took one out was that, that was you chris chris no that was you was I've, I've got it on the map right here well you scared off a line get I, I yeah you know what yeah. i think yeah. that's right i I, 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 I hit it with a i hit one with a uh, intimidate and it decided there was easier food somewhere else <laughs> but you're but <laughs> you're right who was it that that killed the the land get it might have been i i i I don't remember because remember he, he had lost his monster uh, hunter gun. Uh, uh, oh, that's, that's true. All the oh, way back. That's the very first thing. But now he had from the security shack, a proper gun. That's right. So it was him. Yeah. He got well, one he and a, knocked it down. Gun. Yeah. But, but <laughs> had a better, had a better gun. He had a boomerang. I mean, a really proper weapon. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> And, no, uh, did, no, I, did, I'm did trying he, to remember this now that it was like he he may have been taking shots, but it was me who landed like the last shot on it. Yeah, like my, I had a long range. Uh, and you added a card to it. I can't remember. There yeah, was a there was a like, card that you had, and you had a really nice die roll to finish off that line. Get yeah, yeah, but yeah, because I, I thought I remembered it being Chris that uh, just pulled off a really good like sniper shot. So let me show. All of there it is. I, I've got a picture of the Langit. It'll show up in the video. Um, but you guys remember what it looks like, right? Pretty much. I mean, I could. I think I could yeah, drag it out well. again. Um, okay. Uh, let me yeah, see. Yeah, it again. I want to see what it's going. Okay, let me see. It, it looks, should be. Like a should be in best like, area. Like Living land, Langit recurring. There we go. Let me. Oh no, that. That just dragged out its its uh, token. Let me drag it out. The picture of it. Come on, <laughs> come on. You can do it. Okay. Let's see. Let me kind of. Nope. I'm gonna. I I would have to grab it. The the whoever's viewing this is getting a really good view. But let me get into. Let's see. Where would I have put that? That would be in. Oh, come on. Over here. Command post. Uh, RP, RPGs, Torg, Adventures, Year One, War Year One, uh, completed, where is it, where is it, where is it, uh, 2001, Living Land, that's NPCs, that's not going to help me, okay, uh, you know where it is, <clears throat> not here, uh, <laughs> so, command post here, Different role-playing games, Wedge and USI, Group 20, oh, not Group 2020, Torg Eternity, not Production, Adventures, let's go there again, Reusables, yay, Living Land, I'll get there eventually, by God. Okay, Uploading. Because I think I, I removed it, oh yeah, there you go, can you see it? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that smiley thing. Oh my god. Yeah. Terrible. 
Anyway, that's what it's supposed to look like. I don't know who the artist is that that uh, made that, but that is fearsome. I would not want to face that at any point. So I want I want two as pets. <laughs> of course you do. I wonder how it tastes barbecue. <laughs> okay, so you kind of started. Go ahead. What's that, Penny? <laughs> Connor said barbecue. I wonder if they're tasty as barbecue. And it went, oh yeah, them's good eating. <laughs> <laughs> Some good vittles. Okay. Hey, look, we were, in the, we're, we're in the living lands. You, you are either the eater or the E.T. <laughs> Not like Mo would really care. He's like, he would even eat a robot if, you know, handed to him. I tried. <laughs> the bathtub in France. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. Um, so Mo scared off the land get. And you guys were already in a race. Uh, if you read the, the river race, Road to Philly, uh, let's see. This is a chase that may go as long as 15 turns. And I put the 15 turns down at the bottom here. Uh, you guys eventually did win um, because their rolls were not just not good enough. So by round 11 of the chase DSR that we did, uh, Dynamic Skill Resolution, uh, you guys were, were way down. So here comes the next part. Just as you outran the land, get you shortly thereafter reached your destination, departing the boats at the river docks established by the army in Philadelphia. Unfortunately, much of the city had been taken over by the living land by, the, by that time, and you were to all told an army of Adenos were preparing to attack the base set up at Fort Washington. Fortunately, it appeared Philly was, for the most part, still under core earth axioms, so you could travel quickly to the base. What happened during that time? Do you remember? Uh, we noted we we managed to not get Mo and Sakal shot on sight. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, they, they, they succeeded so well in their stealth roles that that was pretty amazing. And and I ah. handed over the stuff from the Ukam to these guys. Now, wait a second, are you sure that they succeeded so well at their stealth roles, or did they have to have some help that went well, we to, to have glory? Oh, yeah, we we all pitched in like. Yeah, we helped, and then they gloried. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think it was that uh, Lena that did it again. Uh-huh. <laughs> She's no, cool. no, 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 it was not. Um, yeah, no, it was, it was Sakal. It, it was Sakal and oh. uh, and Mo. They both rolled high enough to glory, but only we only had one glory card. So okay. I think Sakal. Oh, that's right. We oh, yeah. Glory. That was the only time we both gloried on the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, so you and did roll. Yeah. So yeah. Had, they both made the roll, but we only had the one glory card. Well, you can only use one glory card at the time. So, uh, <laughs> that's so, the truth. So, so, so even though we both rolled high enough, the, the, it, it, but it was on the same skill. So, <laughs> uh, we. Uh, if if anybody in the universe had seen uh-huh. our stealth, it would have been a thing of inspiration. Yeah, but nobody saw it because <laughs> we were just that good. Yeah, the fact of stealth is that nobody could see you. <laughs> <laughs> we no were doubt. the wind. No, yep. Yeah. So okay, so you you managed to get. Uh, let's see. Being civilians, all of you were ushered that evening. Okay, wait a minute. We're not there yet. I don't think we're done with, with this scene just yet. What yeah. happened? Yeah, once you... we had one more overnight on the river after no, we uh-uh. lost the blankets. Yeah, well, um, let's see. So you had end of day five and end of day six at Thomas Edison University. Um, and then day seven was, uh, yeah, you're right. Day seven was taken care of uh, probably right here. If I recall correctly, right, right there, I think. Yeah, but I I didn't write down the beginning of day eight or end of day seven, so that's mm-hmm. my fault. Anyway, I, I don't think I don't think anything happened. Yeah, I, nothing I, happened. Up, yeah, yeah. It wound up just being an overnight and travel. Nothing, yeah, yep. no, no, nothing happened. We camped, we got started again, and then we reached oh, the docks. Yep. The thing did happen. Yeah. Uh, it, we we had to. We we pretty much. Uh, he said stealth roll to get past uh, the, the army of Adinos that was between us and the city. Right. That was day eight. Yeah, that so, was on day eight. That, that was, was on day eight. eight. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because you know, day day eight would have started about right here where I'm signaling. Um, right where the E is in Delaware. Signal right now. You can't see my signal right now. No. Mm-mm. Huh. No, um, am no. I on? I'm on objects you're and tokens. On, are you sure you're on? You, yeah, but you're not supposed to be on objects and tokens. No, no, no. no. I am supposed to be on objects that and tokens. That was me. That, that was you. So he's like, you, That's I can me. see. See, I saw but you mode. can't see me. You said you were right here. You said you were right here at the D in Delaware, but we don't see you. Um. Well, I'm just. That's really odd. Uh. That shouldn't be that way. Well, anyway, I'm between the D and E in Delaware River. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it's. Uh, I know that. I know that uh, the viewers will be able to see it. Anyway, you picked up from there. Uh, actually, you didn't really stop because you were floating down river. But the mm-hmm. day day seven would have ended right about where the D and E are, right after you scared off the Langit. So then mm-hmm. you ended up just above the P in Philadelphia. Uh, let me see if I can do this. Let's put this in the middle. There we go. Don't know if that helps at all. Um. And uh, and that's when you were met. I don't remember the name of the officer that met you, but mm. once you guys established your stealth, you were able to get to Fort Washington. What took mm-hmm. place at Fort Washington? Well, oh. uh, mm-hmm. I, I do remember giving my my stuff with the Uthman over and and trying to make make what I had found out about hard points and storm nights. I think it was Major uh, it, Jeffries that was in charge of the base. Yeah, that, that, that yeah. sounds right. That sounds familiar. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't remember the guy's name at all. Yeah, just that. Uh, just that there was somebody there, and uh, I mean, there, there was somebody there who was in charge. And and he took the information from us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You gave him a copy of all that stuff. And, yeah, I did uh, from our phones. Yep. Chris and I both. Yeah. And uh, well, oh, Crespo. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey, how's it going? What's up, Robert? We are almost done, I think, with uh, with the recap video for um, uh, day two, Road to Philadelphia. So, oh, you guys are doing your recap today? Yeah, I, I thought I wrote you a note about that. You probably did, I didn't notice. Ah, oh, that's all right. You're welcome to hang around. Uh, and and just talk with us and listen to our, you know, tales. Listen to our harrowing adventures. Yeah, um, these uh, other two will probably take less than half the time that we've spent on, on this video so far. Uh, an hour and 23 minutes, basically. So, yeah, it took um, us how many uh, sessions to get all the way down the road to Philadelphia? Oh, my goodness. One. It was a that lot. Was a yeah. Because, I mean, Road to Philadelphia took place between uh, March, or I'm sorry, February 29th, because it was a leap year. Uh, I forgot about that. We played on leap year. Uh, and, <laughs> and and March 21st. So, uh, yeah, there were there was quite a bit that was going on with that. So that's, what, four game sessions? Does that seem right to so, you guys? So I did. So I get to sit here and wonder how it was you guys survived without me. Got it. <laughs> yeah, exactly what it is. Hey, you know what? If you've got something to say, bring it in, man. Bring it in. That's the the idea with this is to have some fun with it and let people kind of catch up on on you know viewers kind of catch up on on what we're doing. So that's why I'm recording it. So now you know what they say about monkeys and typewriters. <laughs> if you get uh, enough monkeys on typewriters, they can eventually produce Shakespeare. <laughs> uh, I didn't know anything about typewriters, but I sure did know about having a bunch of monkeys underfoot. I mean, um, <laughs> <laughs> that's not right, man. That is not right. <laughs> I, I do remember that, uh, uh, Jeffries or the army guys were saying that the city was under attack and uh, seeing uh, as we were storm knights we needed to get to uh, join the forces elsewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I don't remember a lot of specific stuff that happened there other than after we talked to them, you know, that they basically wanted to evac us. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't, a, uh, haven't got quite that far yet. 
Yeah, yeah, because I, I don't remember anything in particular happening while we were in Philadelphia. Uh, I mean, we, 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 ta we talked to them. We told them our story. They told us what was going on. Uh, we got the uh, civilians uh, settled in. Mm-hmm. Yep, they I remember that. Hospitals were, you know, trying to find, you know, catch up with the Red Cross, you know, to find family and, and get moved to a location of safety. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, we pretty much came into the city as it was being emergency evac because it was under attack. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, it was very rushed and very hurried. <laughs> yeah, 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 our time in Philadelphia was very short. Yeah, we evac in it. We've evac in a noisy pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, screaming its head off. Oh, yeah, wait, is, is this where Chris came down with about a flu and passed out for days? No, nope. is that later? That's later. Yeah. That's uh, yeah. that was at the later. beginning of uh, uh, Popes in Space, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so, so who? in the helicopter uh, uh probably one of the civilians that was flying with you i don't remember uh, it, oh no you know who it was it was uh no. doctor uh, it was detective pepper yeah. uh, uh he, he didn't take to it too well lost I, his I, lunch I, I remember me and sakal were both like hanging out the doors Mm -hmm. you know, no safety straps, nothing. We were just like enjoying the hell out of this flying thing. It was <laughs> oh yeah, you dragged me out there. I drove, I drove Chris out. I You've know. got to see this, Chris. Come check this out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I'm missing something here. Hmm, what happened? Where's my slideshow? Now I'm glad I have uh, telekinesis now. Because <laughs> if you do drag me out there and accidentally let me go, Whoops. I can just kind of glide in the air. <laughs> just don't drift up. Those rotors will kill you. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's the truth. All right, so let's see. Being civilians, all of you were ushered that evening aboard a bunch of military and civilian helicopters to get you all out of the area and to another uh -huh. core Earth point. So, the U.S. Navy, under the brand new Delphi Council's leadership, could pick you all up as storm knights and get you briefed, which closed you out, closed out the eighth day of the invasion for all of you and led to the day one Janus Agenda adventure. Only you wound up landing uh, close to Canada. I think it was just south of, of um, Lake Superior, was it? Yeah, we're in the Great Lakes. I didn't so, even know they could get an aircraft carrier into the Great Lakes. Oh, sure. Why not? Uh, let's see. You got out of Philly right as the attack commenced. What did you think? Okay, you've already gone over that. Uh, I have it in my notes that Glory was played three times in this adventure. Do any of you remember yes. when those happened? Yeah, uh, well, well, the first two were done by NPCs. Mm -hmm. Dr. Um, Dr. Vanessa? Oh, that's right. Dr. Mosseling. Dr. Mosseling uh gloried on what was this what was it she did that she gloried on it wasn't an action skill it was like a uh, intelligence I, skill. Uh, it was intelligence or some kind of healing yeah yeah but she she gloried on one during the tunnel just as we came out of new york yeah uh, oh yeah that's then, right uh it was Dr. Mosselang, who stepped forward, and she gave in what's known as encouraging words to bolster oh, that, you guys to defeat yeah. Thekleek. Oh, yeah, wow. She, she was the only one of us that had any leadership skills. <laughs> <laughs> and she, and she time, finally yeah. remembered she, and she finally remembered she had them, and she used them well. Yeah. And, yeah, absolutely. And, and then, um, and then uh, uh, Lana. Lena. Uh, Glory. Lena. Mm -hmm. uh, gloried once in that fight that that we were just highlighting at the beginning here, where the uh, the, the the near the ambulance, she she did something spectacular up mm -hmm. there. It, it was it was an attack against one of the monsters. Yeah, uh, and um, uh, and she just she just knocked its block off. Yep, I remember. And, and then me and Sakal both rolled a glory to stealth or we both rolled a, a 60 plus on our stealth rolls to get into philadelphia mm -hmm. 
That's yeah. the three right there. So what we need to do is put those uh, on your new sheets in the foundry. Um, I, I need to be able to remember those. So, oh, man. So, Doc, uh, in the Thiecleek fight. Okay, uh, with Bolster. Professor Plum in the library with the pipe wrench. <laughs> the second one was who? Lena? Lena in the fight in um where we uh, stood our ground that time. Yeah, where, where we started our started our ground this time. In the fight at Trenton? Trenton, that's at it. Trenton. And it was a defensive role, wasn't it? Or I was that an so. attack? Okay. Uh I with, think where, isn't that where she got like she she got three villains at a time? Yeah, but well, I think she did, but she didn't glory for any of those. I think she gloried on defense because she gloried on defense when we were playing in uh -huh. uh, in day one Living Land, also. So oh, that's okay. right. She's she's gloried twice. Yeah. Yeah. So Lena yeah. day I told one. Told you my girlfriend was tough. Living Land. Uh, unfortunately, we grew apart. Yeah. yeah. She decided she, she wanted to go back to the Living Land. <laughs> yeah, she, she didn't want to leave the Living Land. Uh, she had more Dinos to kill, and I understand that. Yeah, it was a vengeance thing for losing her son, Wayne. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, and then the third one was Sakal and Mo, or the, well, technically the fourth one. Uh, Sakal mm -hmm. and Mo, uh, stealth uh, to reach Fort Washington. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I've got those down. I will be adding those to your foundry sheets and my GM notes and stuff. Um, but not right now. Uh, okay. So let's see. All right. So you already talked. We already talked about the feral Boy Scouts and everything like that that you found. Um, you rescued like everybody and made bank on experience points and possibilities. So mm -hmm. that was pretty cool. Um, so let's see. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, and kind of cut things out. I've already started the outro music for the video. Um, and I'm going to uh, read it out. And then I'll come back on after I'm finished with the video and explain things to you. I will probably end up cutting that whole speech out. So anyway, I am going deaf mute. Talk amongst yourselves, my friends. I feel it's very important to note here that David Chart is a world-renowned author of several games, another of my favorites being Warhammer Fantasy, Roleplay 2nd Edition. But he's worked on many things. This adventure turned out to be exactly what it was supposed to be, a hardcore look at the living land, including some brilliant descriptions of the changes wrought by the invasion, the good, the bad, and the ugly. The living land in Torg, Eternity, has been filled out in such a way as to accentuate the violent, rapid life and death nature of the cosms, of the Cosm, and it's true that my friends kept hopping as they were playing in through the adventure, through both Day One Living Land and through uh, Road to, uh, Day Two Road to Philadelphia. I'm grateful they survived, and I don't feel like I took it easy on them, though I certainly was not as harsh as Mr. Chart wrote the adventure to be. Sorry, David. The encounters were brilliantly staged. The reasons behind everything that happened, both in uh, both in how he wrote the adventure and in the differences I imposed for my way of running games, were equally genuine and helpful to the description. Any games masters out there who are intent to run this adventure need to remember one simple thing. It's your adventure, not the author's. Mr. Chart put a lot into this adventure to choose from, spent a long time writing it, and it's well worth not only the read, but the run. Still, you'll have to be picky about what you choose to display to your players as you play through in order to work in the proper timing, work in the proper timing for everything, or you'll find your players asleep at their characters and not much interested in continuing. This adventure does help you to learn how to set pace. Thank you for listening to our recap of this adventure. Note that just as the end of the official Day One Living Land adventure ran straight into the end of this adventure, as planned by Mr. Chart, so too does this adventure run into the next Day One Janus agenda. It's worth noting 
these first two adventures could have led to others that take place in the living land, but I felt with two months worth of Saturdays at gameplay in the living land already, it was time to move on. That said, please join us for the next exciting recap for Day 1, Janus Agenda, where the players get to change, get a change of scenery and the characters are able to get some rest. Or are they?